menjana pelbagai emosi dalam diri kita. Dan bagi kumpulan muzik ini, pukulan alat-alat gendangnya pasti dapat merangsangkan minda dan menggerakkan anggota tubuh kita untuk jadi lebih aktif. Saya mahu teruka bersama Iqbal apa lagi yang dapat kami raih di sini. Pasca telah mula menjadi pemain drum, gendang dan perkusi sejak tahun 1982 lagi. Pada tahun 2001, beliau menubuhkan kumpulan genderang Rhythm Masala. I wanted a mix of all kinds of drums and different types of percussion instruments. So masala in, I mean, in Tamil says is a mix of uh, spices. So that's how we came up with the name with the masala. And that's when we started the uh, in year 2001. We did the Guinness Book of World Records for 27 hours and 45 minutes in Singapore. Selepas pencapaian pertama rhythm masala itu, mereka mendapat undangan dari negara Afrika Selatan pula yang ingin mengadakan acara memecah rekod dunia sempena satu perayaan di Kota Durban. So let's do something that drastic. So maybe times two. So let's go to maybe do 50 hours. So that the the record will still stand, see? Eh? Namun di acara di Durban itu, anggota-anggota rhythm masala perlu lebih bersedia dari segi mental. So Durban Park is an open uh, space and the temperature was maybe uh, maybe 6 or 7 degrees. So that's a disadvantage because if anyone stops in between, they, they'll terminate the whole record. Pasca memang selalu mencari bakat-bakat baharu untuk menyertainya. So what I was doing is I did my homework. So I was going around for many performances, many programs done by other groups and all that. So uh, what I do is I will check, okay, this drummer, this percussionist, how many drums can he play? So that's how I recruit. So that's how I recruited uh, Chinese uh, percussionists, Malay percussion. So my group is more of a multi-ethnic. So we have different types of drums and they can play on different percussion. So once I get all these members, we, we come up with performance, uh, we will do it in different, different areas, uh, different venues. That's where everyone get to see us. But unique, because instead of uh, hiring this group, say maybe 20 drummers, to go overseas, there's only five percussionists who can play multiple percussion. Rhythm Masalah mempunyai strategi yang unik untuk menarik minat penonton dan orang ramai. We come up with the idea saying that we have to come up with a multi-ethnic performance, a multi-ethnic fusion concept. That's when different races will be able to absorb or be attracted to the performance. In a crowd, we have uh, Chinese, Malay, Indian, and of course others. So when they come in, when they see, oh, there's a Chinese percussion, oh, quite interesting. But merging with the Indian percussion, or Malay drum, or Western percussion, or Latin percussion, that's the, that's the idea. Dengan menggabungkan alat-alat muzik tradisional berbilang kaum, lebih ramai yang boleh menikmati muzik mereka. Mereka juga dapat menarik minat penonton untuk pelajari cara bermain gendang. Over time, you know, those who watch the performance, I mean, there are so many of them who started to learn. They go to different schools to learn uh, such instruments after watching our performance and all that. Selain bermain muzik rancak paluan gendang yang mereka gemari, interaksi dengan penonton memberi kepuasan yang lebih bermakna bagi ahli-ahli rhythm masalah. We go for a community event. Okay, you can see lots of children there, all right? They'll be playing around and all that. But once we start playing, they'll be very focused because of the beats and rhythm. But when we tell them, okay, during the performance, we say, okay, uh, we'll have a hands-on session. We'll have a small, small instrument. Straight away, you can see small kids will be coming up and start banging on the instrument, you see? Whether they play well or not, that doesn't matter. But at least they have that interest to touch the instrument and hit. Because everyone has got a 
a rhythm sense. I mean, our heartbeat goes to that. So that's why the rhythm plays a very important role. Rhythm can capture even a small kid. Mendengar irama dan alunannya saja dah boleh buat kita hendak menari. Tentu pasca dan rakan-rakan dari rhythm masalah ada banyak yang boleh dikongsi tentang gendang, drum dan perkusi.